Let's take a look at some of the more advanced options that you can get out of Apple Remote Desktop. So let's open up the application. Here we can see we've got our users that are out there working away. I've got a PDF here that talks about the company support options. This is something that as an IT administrator, you might want to push onto everyone's desktop and make sure that they've read so they know how to interact with your support and your help desk group. So we're going to take Hector's machine and we're going to do a copy. I'm just going to drag this right into the copy form there. A couple of different options here, where to place it. We're going to pick the desktop, uh, what to do if it's already there. Uh, we're going to make sure that Hector reads it so it's going to be opened after copying. We can even limit the network usage. So if we want to take this down to just a specific uh, kilobytes per second, we can do that here so that we don't overload the network. Now I'm just going to hit copy. Succeeded. If I go back to all computers and to Hector, I'm going to be able to observe, and I'm going to see that this PDF has been opened up and is displayed on the desktop. You'll also see that when you're in a control mode, so if I go to Hector's machine again and instead of observe, I use control, you can actually drag this into the window as well. So instead of using the copy, if you're just doing it to one and you're already controlling a system, all you've got to do is drag copy it over. But what about maybe a package installer? Maybe something more than just a simple file. Well, I can grab all of these machines at once, just using Shift Select, and hit Install. Now I have a package here, it's for an HP printer. I can drag that over. Uh, after installation, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to restart, uh, run this task from this application. The task server is available as well. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, if a problem occurs, what to do? I can encrypt the entire transaction if I want to. Notice the lock appears up here when I do that. And I can also limit the transfer to a specific kilobytes per second. I'm going to hit install, and I'm going to get a progress update as these machines go through this. While that's waiting, I can go ahead and do other activities on this. So let's talk about the task server that I mentioned before. In the remote desktop preferences, there's the option for a task server here. A task server allows you to set one machine, maybe the machine you use Apple Remote Desktop on, or maybe a Mac OS X server that you have somewhere else. And that machine then pushes out all the packages when you're doing this to remote systems. This allows you to be an administrator on your laptop and have a server back in your data center do all the work for you on your client systems. All done automatically and potentially on a schedule if you want as well, as that's one of the options that you have when pushing out packages. Another great feature that you have is I can actually manage these machines, put them to sleep, wake them up, restart them, shut them down, all of these other facilities from within Apple Remote Desktop. So if I have a number of machines out there and I want to make sure that they're all being turned off at night or they're all going to sleep, I can do all of that remotely from Apple Remote Desktop. In here we can see all the previous tasks that we've done, and if you wanted to, you could actually rerun. So here I've done a system overview on all these machines. I can do this and rerun this report without having to go through the process of actually redoing it. So this will just rerun that command that I did and then return the results to me. I'm also able to send a Unix command. If I go back into all computers and I pick one of these systems, I can do Unix and now I can actually type in perhaps an uptime command. Can run it as the current user, display all the output, and hit send. It comes back and now I have the report of what that uptime command on that remote command line would have given me. So Apple Remote Desktop allows you to easily copy files, install packages, do things on the remote systems via the command line, even shut down your machine so you can save money on power. All of this from the comfort of your own notebook with Apple Remote Desktop.